Okay, Blair Witch 2 of the Book of Shadows. I am somebody who absolutely hated the Blair Witch movie. I, I really did. The idea behind it was interesting, but think about it. After it came out, weren't there hundreds and hundreds of movies that came out afterwards where people were running with a shaky camera? So, Crackle had the sequel on there, and I was like, alright, well, you know, all it's going to cost me is bandwidth and time. I wish I had both of them back. Beyond it having the lead character in Burn Notice in it, this movie is one of those... They tried to be somewhat meta in the beginning, the idea of the premise behind it being, well, now people are coming up to this small town because the Blair Witch was filmed here. So it's a movie about people going to a place where a movie was filmed. While trying to figure out if the movie was actually real or if it was just all made up. So you have the random group of people brought together by a tour guide. A tour guide who, this is his first actual tour, normally he just sells random things from his web shop. That's how he makes his money. So they go to where the Blair Witch, of course, was filmed at. And then they all kind of forget what happened. And then later on, they use video cameras to piece back together the events of what happened the night before. So I guess this is the precursor to the Hangover series. And they realize one of them may or may not have been taken over by the Blair Witch. They might all end up being crazy. One of them's a Wiccan. One of them's a goth girl. Two of them film documentaries. One believes supernatural and one does not believe. So it's just, it's a whole mismatch of people thrown together. They try to figure out what happened throughout the course of that night and try to put the pieces back together. To be honest, this movie could have taken place almost anywhere. It seemed like they took a movie and went, um, we'll see where the Blair Witch was filmed there. And then we'll make it a sequel. Pretty much you could have picked any other location. I will say one thing, when they're discussing the earlier parts of the film, they do mention, um, it's like people flocking to Ed Gein's house. Ed Gein, the ghoul of Plainfield, is almost destroyed very, very early on, so people wouldn't know where it's located and wouldn't go visit it. Entirely different from the idea of the Blair Witch.